Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to the final reveal, I guess, of my craft room. So, we're going to start by walking in the door, I guess. Now, this is my um, son's old room. He recently moved out into his uh, very own new home. And there comes Jackson, I think. Oh no, that's Roxanne. Hi, Roxy. How are you? So there you get a glimpse of my rug <laughs> that my husband bought me. A little rug um, that I use, hopefully, I'm going to use it for exercise and things like that. Um, Roxanne has already christened it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, thanks, Roxy. Thanks. Okay, so let's just go in. All right, there's, I have two windows in this room. It's very bright because it is in the morning. And as you can see, I had been cleaning up after I had been working on projects and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, that's my state of the desk now because I am currently working on my Christmas tags. So we'll just start over here. Uh, this is, of course, my desk. You've seen this before. I have rearranged but have not labeled my drawers. So all of those drawers there excuse me, here comes Fred, <clears throat> sorry for the shaking, have, um, you know, stuff in them, obviously, like washi tape and glue sticks and my punches and my stamps and my inks and all of that. So I'm not going to bore you with going through every single little drawer, but uh, suffice it to say, that's where I keep all of the stuff that I generally use on a daily basis. Um, this is my little whirly thing that has all of my tools in it that I use, my ot light, which I really enjoy, my little um, telescopic arm there. That's what I use to film my videos. So, yeah, very um, professional in here, you know. So, so, so sorry for the shaking. My hands are shaky this morning. Um, and, yeah, so back there in that tub is where I have my ruffles that I make and I put them in a laundry a detergent tub and that keeps them smelling nice and fresh and my glues and some pens I use and whatever. There's my beautiful husband in his early days um, and there is just some more projects that I need to do. Uh, sorry for the shaking golly day. And then that basket holds the journals, uh, Not they're not in there right now, but it holds the journals that I use uh, that I'm working in. And then we back up here and my husband has finally put up, well not finally, I mean we actually only took like two days to move into this room so I think that's pretty good. There's my Moroccan, my pretty Moroccan candle holder hung from the ceiling. And then that painting, the big painting my daughter did actually, sorry for the glare from all the windows and fan and whatnot, but um, that is a picture in like Bob Ross style, it's done in oils and she, my daughter did that when she was 11. Uh, and it used to hang in my husband's office and, well, seeing as he doesn't have an office anymore, it's now in my room until he gets another office. So his office at work. Um, and then over to the right there, I have a diamond painting that I finished and that is from the company In Love Arts. And then that there at the bottom, I love this piece of artwork right there. There's a, oh, let me get my half naked husband out of the way. Um, there is a an aboriginal art piece that my dear sister Karen from Down Under sent me and uh, it is from the Bumiri tribe and it is gorgeous. So she sent me that a few years ago and it's taken me this long to find the perfect frame for it. So I love it. And then the rest of the wall is going to, you know, I'm going to add to the wall as artwork either gets sent to me or I make or my kids make or whatever the case is. So yes. So let's go back down here and there's my desk, my paints, my Arteza watercolors, whatever, because I'm working on my tags. And then, oh yeah, I forgot. Over here, these are the pen holders that my husband made for me out of PVC pipe. It's three inch in diameter and about six inches long, I think. And yeah, he cut them all up and painted them all up and glued them all together and it holds all my pens that need to be held on their sides so that they don't dry out. And I got this idea from Karen Campbell and I just love it. Everything is right at arm's reach. I use pens in my journaling every day. So yeah, it's super nice to have those. Now I had a lot of questions about this lovely wall hanging quilt right there. 
That is a wall hanging that I found as we were going through boxes. It was actually packed up in a hurricane box because when we had, I think it was Irma passed through a couple years ago or last year maybe, I can't remember now. Um, yeah, that was one of the things that we could not, what's the word? Um, it's irreplaceable. So we kept that and put it in the car with us as we traveled to flee the hurricane. And um, so this, I'm not sure what the pattern is, but this was made by my husband's aunt, uh, actually his great aunt. And he bought it for me over 20 years ago at a family reunion auction. And as soon as I saw it, I said, oh my gosh, I have to have it, I have to have it. So he, he spent quite a few pennies on that thing. And it's gorgeous and I love it. And uh, I used to quilt, but I don't anymore. Uh, but I just love it. I love it. And his aunt was uh, over 100 when she passed away. And that was a number of years ago. So I have no idea when she quilted this. And it is all hand quilted. Um, yeah, she probably did it when she was in her 80s or early 90s, I would think. But yeah, I had to have it in here. So my husband hung that up. Okay, so over here are some journals that I work in under the window and my cutting mat and all that, a lamp. And then around here is my sewing machine and there is my Stanwood yarn winder. Uh, I just stick it there when I'm winding yarn and then I put it away, like I put it on another part of the desk so that it's not in my way when I'm sewing. So that is not where it um, permanently resides. I move it as I see fit or as I need to. So if you'll notice, and you saw in the last video, I'll back up here, I have a U-shape uh, kind of desk situation going on. And so that's really nice. I have my little chair there that I can roll back and forth when I'm sewing tags or you know sewing ruffles or whatever I'm doing at the time. So sorry for the glare again with the window. So over here, my husband finally, well, not finally, I, I shouldn't say finally, like he's been loafing around. Um, but he did put up my bulletin board and this holds just a bunch of art either that I have made or that my lovely sisters in crafting and journaling have sent me over the years and I love it. I love to see their work. Um, yeah, pictures on there of family members. There's a, like one of the last pictures of my ma and myself up there too. And then he also put up these little country shelves, which is a great place to house things that, again, either I have made or lovely friends have sent me. And so I love just being able to display the beautiful items that people have sent me. Now, this right here has not changed very much at all, obviously. This is my yarn drawers. These are my yarn drawers. And I might find another place for them. I'm not quite sure because... I don't want to buy anything for this room. Now, in this room, everything that's in this room, of course, aside from the desks um, and like all my crap, uh, was already here. Like all the storage, uh, like over to the left there, the, the closet, that was all here. This is my son's old bedroom. So the main furniture that was in here already that you'll see in a moment is the closet organizer and the entertainment center, which is currently right behind me. And so all I did, or my husband and I did, was move my junk in here, my desk and all of that. Uh, but everything else was in here. And so I'm not sure if I want to look for like a shallow, um, like what's it called, like a bureau or for more storage or what, I'm just not sure yet. So that's where this is at its current state and will stay that way until I decide what I'm gonna do. And then you guys have seen, <clears throat> sorry for all the glare and my Fred, what, what not, the closet, uh, the closet organizer was already here. So I tried to utilize it as best I could. I've always kept my supplies in boxes uh, so that I can label them easily so, and they're clear boxes so that I can see everything that's in them. Okay, all the way down to the bottom there. I also have that bank of drawers in the center there and in there holds um, just various things. Let me see, without shaking you about, I will go ahead and open if I can find my hand. Oh yeah. See, you've seen this. Those, those are like laces and trims and um, some quilt fabric. 
that I purchased and my felt. <clears throat> Sorry, boy, Fred's relentless. Okay, down here is like extra fabric that I have and canvas that I use. And let's see, we'll go down further. There is a work in progress. That is my mammoth, the blocks, the grainy squares for my mammoth uh, bedspread. Working on that. And then down in here, this is extra fabric in the back there in bolts and then yarn that I have for the projects that I'm currently working on. So there's that. And then let's back up a little bit here. <clears throat> Excuse me again, I'm so, so sorry. Well, let's get a closer up view, I guess, at the top. So up there, all of those books and over into there. So let me see without shaking about, where's my finger? All these here to there and then all these here. Those are all of my daily creative journals. And at the beginning, like over here, these are all of my Fobonichis. So there, there they sit once they are completed, yes. And then over here I did change and put like my, sorry for the shaking again, I put my papers that I use in these little paper holder things. And these hold like painty papers and, well, those are clasp envelopes, but it holds music paper. And then there's my scoreboard and an extra cutter. Back in there is my big Xyron that a lovely YouTube um, uh, subscriber sent to me. And some of my bigger tools like my cinch and just some odds and ends of boxes of ephemera and more boxes of ephemera there. There's the diamond painting that I'm working on currently from uh, my collaboration with Victoria's Moon. And then I have all these drawers. These are 12 by 12 drawers. They hold lots of stuff. They hold doilies. And then I have one for just tags and I have one for just bags and pockets. And then I have a whole bunch of um, scrapbook paper bins, you know. And then that's like an air purifier. <laughs> And so yeah, there's that and there is my hallway. And then this is back here is my, uh, the entertainment center that my son left in here and super funny, right? He came over, I'm not really sure when, like a week ago. And I said, oh, did you see what we did to your old room? <laughs> and he walked in here and the first thing he noticed is that that Lego build was not in the case where it was before. And he was like, where is my Lego build? And I said, don't worry, of course I kept it. Are you kidding me? I mean, I was the Lego builder with my son when he was young. So whenever he got Legos, I was the helper to help him build them. So, but he wants it back. He wants it back. I can't believe it. Yeah. So anyway, this is the entertainment center that was, that was in his room already. So I've utilized it again to the best of my ability. And we'll just go over and show you what all is in here. You'll probably see my reflection. I just got back from my walk, so I look hideous as per usual. Um, so over here is a huge bank of drawers that fit in this nice little section here. My husband shoved them in there. <laughs> and they hold, you know, just a variety of, of things. You know, my acrylic, some of my acrylic paints my um, baby wipes. I'm not, again, I'm not going to go through every drawer. If you want me to go through every little nook and cranny, let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to go through them. I have mark making tools and that's like a lot of that is my painty stuff, my acrylic painty stuff. And then I have some water soluble items in there, my ink tents and my neo colors and all that. Uh, my dilutions paints. I have some um, regular size cardstock in these drawers here. And then up at the top is just randomness there. So then like, oh, let me back up a little bit here. So you're gonna see me in the reflection. I got my cap on. Hello, hello, here I am. Um, so this entertainment center, like the whole front is cupboards. It's got four cupboards. Two of them obviously are glass uh, cupboards. And then I have some shelves. Some of these are awkwardly shaped, so I just use them as display. There is my lovely Jackson. And now Roxanne's chiming in. There is my um, TV. And I love it because I can listen to Pandora while I work or do whatever I want. I'm going to slowly just walk over here to my door and close it. See if I can mute the pups out. Sorry about that. 
And so let's look in here. So in here, I've shown you this before, I believe. There's my book binding tape. These are all the journals that I can make into junk journals. Some golden books, some uh, whatever those are, encyclopedias, various books that I have bought. Um, and then down here is some of the collection of books that I use the innards of to make my junk journals. So that's that. We'll just go down from here. So this is my uh, sticker box, right? It's got just a load of stickers in it. And I can just take this off the shelf and put it on my desk when I'm working on it. And then when I'm done, I can put it back on the shelf. There's my recipe cards. These are notepads. These are some tags that I've made. All of this stuff right here, these beautiful, all of these beautiful books have either been sent to me, they are faux flow books. So they've been sent to me or I've received them in swaps. And then in here in the center are some of my ephemera holders that I make. And so what I do when I'm working on my journals is I just take one of these books off and set it on my desk and then I dig through it and get my goodies out of there to decorate my pages when I'm journaling. And then here is a huge box of basically the same thing, it's just not in book form. So a lot of stuff that I've received in um, Happy Mail and all of that and so I keep it in this big basket and again I can just take the basket to my desk so that works out well. And then let me see here, if, well those are gonna get snagged but that's okay. So in here are, this is a drawer and it's more books that I use for my junk journaling, the innards. I use the innards of those. I'll have to fix those little things. Okay, and then the bottom drawer, let me see. There are some more books that I use, dictionaries, poetry books, um, books in different languages, and, and I use the innards of those. Sorry, it's so dark. Okay, so then let's go back up here. Okay, and then in here, this is a display case and again I just display either books that I've purchased, books that I've made, books that people have graciously sent to me in Happy Mail. So I keep all of this displayed. Um, that doily there is my very first doily I ever made with crochet thread. So yep, I usually make them and give them away but that's my very first one so I kept it. And then in this one, same thing, display, either books that people have graciously given to me over the years, books that I've made, there's a doily that I didn't like the way it came out, so I'm not giving it away. Um, back in the back there is Aunt Clara, the same person who hand quilted that wall hanging. Um, those are her old crochet magazine so my daughter again she was at a family reunion and she purchased those for me which was very sweet of her and a lovely memento to have and then there is a um a vintage royal typewriter that my husband bought me a few years ago and i love it and i want it on display because it's beautiful and it is usable so if i want to use it i could just take it out of the shelf or out of the cupboard use it and put it back and again another doily that i had made and so there's that. And then down below, I just have bits and bobs, you know, little um, journals that either I've made or that have been sent to me. My buttons, I don't, these are all the buttons that I have. Um, and then doodads in here. My husband's old cologne bottle, because I love the smell of it. It's Lucky Six, if any of you ladies want to know. Smells delish. And then um, this is my box of yo-yos that I've made with another doily that a person sent to me in Happy Mail. And then other doodads, you know, things, again, that I've been graciously sent uh, in Happy Mail. Another bit of cologne, a bottle, empty bottle of my husband's cologne, and some little doodads in there. And then we'll go over here. Let's see what's in here. So in this cupboard, it holds my Christmas journals, my love note journals, and then on the bottom shelf, you hear that scratching? Those are my dogs wanting to come in now. So down here are my extra journals that I can use either in the making of junk journals or uh, I have, see there to the left, a load of composition books that can be altered. So there's that. And then on this shelf here again, things that I've either purchased or people have sent me. This is an old humidor that, that holds a bunch of like, um, what's it called? Like vintage ephemera. And then here are my work works in progress and happy mail bins. So I have those there. 
And then these are all of my reference books here. Um, a cute little emoji pillow that a girlfriend sent to me. So cute. And then we'll look in this drawer here. This is my watercolor stuff and uh, mixed meat. No, it's uh, I see a collage book in here. This is, uh, yeah, this holds my collage. Yeah, my collage books that I hand make. And then let's see what's in. Sorry, it's so dark. Oh, and that's that's a work in progress from a trip we took a couple years ago. And then some stickers that my daughter's boyfriend sent me. Let's see what's in these drawers because there are more drawers. Oh, there's all of my like extra spray paint, my glue medium, matte medium, all that kind of stuff. And then there's my incense. Sorry for the bang. There's my incense burner. And then in here are just some more books that I use uh, the innards of for my junk journals. So there you have it. Let's pan you up. I know it's dark. That was my TV screen. Okay, so we'll just pan you around back around this way. And there you have it. There's my room in its completion. Although I have to say that it will be an ongoing project, you know. Um, I don't plan on adding I don't think anything else to the room aside from the artwork on the wall uh, my daughter came in here the other day and she was like oh my gosh I never knew how much stuff you have and now that your room's bigger you can ha you can have more stuff and I was like no I'm not getting more stuff I don't want more stuff I don't need more stuff you know <laughs> just because I have more room doesn't mean I need to fill it so yeah this is the way it's it's ended up and this is the way it's hopefully gonna stay and yeah, I'll just pan you around again. My bulletin board, that's really hard to see. Let me get behind the light so you can see it a little bit better. My bulletin board with all my beautiful items that people have sent and made for me. My yarn um, and my closet all filled to the gills with stuff. So yes, um, I'm so thankful to my husband for helping me to move my room and yeah i love working in it it's just a fabulous space i love being in here um it's just it's so nice to have just my own space i can close the door and just work in here at my leisure and i know that a lot of people you know don't have their own space uh, I feel very blessed to be able to have my own space, but again, it was the at the expense of my beautiful son moving out, but um, I'm so proud of him for purchasing his first home, and so it's all good. Uh, yeah, so I'm having a lot of fun in here. I hope you liked and enjoyed this final relocation craft room tour, and I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and a wonderful week, and I'll talk at y'all real soon. Bye!